Hi, my name's Dave. Welcome to this week's Wildlife Weekly. Okay, well some birds are just arriving now, but other birds are right in the middle of their um, breeding season. We're seeing the first young mallards um, around the place, but other mallards are still wrestling. They come together, push their breasts together, grab hold of each other's breast feathers, and you see those tufts of feathers are actually pulled away as those birds are wrestling to compete for uh, the attentions of the, uh, the female. Well, we've had yet another amazing week for, um, for crane activity. This clear sky, high pressure, that's perfect weather for uh, cranes to move around, get up on a thermal, get high, and they can migrate large distances. Birds have been turning up all over the Severn, across onto the uh, Welsh side, down into Dorset, and we've had loads of extra birds um, turning up here at Simbridge. Flocks of them, I think we had 16, 17 on, um, on one day. Um, always great excitement when these flocks uh, land here. The resident birds are, are there uh, claiming control of their territory, so they're chasing those birds around, um, driving them away. We see this um, fantastic um, posture that they have as they chase each other around with their rings uh, raised and uh, actually making contact. You see feathers flying um, on, um, on occasions. Um, these new birds are young birds. They've come up from Somerset, they're exploring, uh, they've followed the Severn, they've ended up here at Stinbridge, they've heard the, the, the resident birds and that's helped to attract them down. Nice habitat as well, good place for these birds to, uh, to be feeding. So all of these cranes, of course, uh, are part of the Great Crane Project. Eggs being taken from Germany, reared here at Slimbridge, released into the fantastic habitat around the, uh, the Somerset levels. And I know the, the team are, are leaving just now, heading out to Germany to collect the very last batch of eggs that will be brought back uh, here to, uh, to Slimbridge. And we'll be following that journey through the Wildlife Weekly. Okay, well James has been busy setting his camera traps around the reserve here. This helps us to, to monitor wildlife activity, especially what's going on um, at night time. But we catch a few uh, unusual scenes during the, uh, the, the day as well. So we can see some interaction between um, rabbits, which we often pick up, and a cheeky jackdaw that comes in here just to peck the, the, the backside of the, uh, uh, of the rabbit. And they are just um, very bright birds, full of devilment, uh, things like jackdaws, and I'm sure they're just doing that for the fun. I know birds aren't supposed to have fun, but that's what it looks like to me. Well, one of the really best places for looking for water voles and looking for signs of water voles is out here on our canoe trail. Um, so let's jump in a boat and we're, we're going to see what we can find. Canoe trail. Well, water voles are still the fastest declining mammal in the UK. We've lost over 90% of their population on a, on a national level. So the main causes of the loss of um, water voles are firstly the North American mink being introduced that's been predating, directly killing and eating um, water voles. The other, perhaps managing our water courses too tight, not leaving rough areas, uh, sedg sedgy banks, things like the, the habitat we see behind us here. And they were on the verge of becoming extinct. The population is still declining rapidly in large parts of the country, but here at Slimbridge and indeed around quite a few of our uh, reserves, we've been able to reverse that trend. We carefully studied the requirements of the um, water voles and, and we were able to reproduce that uh, habitat through the canoe trail here. A, a big thanks to all of those people that have helped. So still a big job to be done. The creation of, of new wetlands, planting up with the right species, uh, management of the headlands in the wider farmland. These areas are now increasingly important. This is going to be the colonising pool of animals that are moving out into the wider countryside. General advice for the week, it looks like this clear sky, uh, southerly and easterly airflows are going to um, continue. That's going to be good migration condition. Birds are going to be um, passing over 
Um, so eyes on the skies is the advice for this week. Watch out, especially for cranes. If they're out exploring in small groups, then you may well come across uh, those as well. Very distinctive um, silhouette with their neck held uh, out straight as they're, they're flying and a dark trailing edge to the, uh, to the wings make them uh, quite distinctive. And if you're lucky, if they're flying low enough, they might be calling and it's a wonderful call that we've heard echoing around the uh, reserve. If you've enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and followers on Facebook and Twitter. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and for more information, go to the Trust website.